Gourmet Wine and Food Expo in Toronto. And I'm here with Walter Sidorishan from Ivanhoe Cheesing. Yep. Now, can you tell me a little bit about your company? Well, our company was founded in 1870. It's Canada's oldest cheese company of its kind. We're located in eastern Ontario, just north of Belleville, on the way to Maydock, up Highway 62. And we, now, if people want to get their hands on your cheeses, where are they available? Well, currently, we have a great selection of product available in Sobeys, IGA, AMP, and Dominion stores. Now, I notice you have a wide range of cheeses. Is there anything you specialize in, or how do you pick your cheeses, or do well, you make them yourself? Well, we manufacture and distribute all of our own products. Okay. Uh, our specialty and our heritage really is cheddar. We started making cheddar back in 1870. Of course, the name originated, believe it or not, we are located in a little hamlet called Ivanhoe. Oh, really? So it's not a marketing ploy. It really is where we're located. Those are our roots right in the heart of dairy, dairy country in eastern Ontario. Our specialty and our real expertise is in cheddars. Most recently, in the last, I would say, three years, we've worked on developing uh, quite an assortment of new and innovative cheeses. One of them was horseradish cheddar, as you see right now. But we've also recently introduced products such as salsa cheese and, of course, a number of specially aged cheeses. The reason I'm here is that we were chatting earlier, uh -huh. and you mentioned that this particular horseradish cheddar is better suited to drinking with beer well, than with wine. You know, a lot of people, a lot of wine connoisseurs like to pair our our cheese with the wine and this obviously is a natural with a Riesling but to be honest with you we've had such a tremendous response with uh, whether it's in a lager or an ale I know an ale has been the most popular and personally I enjoy this cheese with an ale I guess simply because it's such a flavorful cheese yet so mild and creamy we get a great cheese a nice little horseradish kick to it as well the beer actually is a wonderful and refreshing break it's also, you get to enjoy the beer like for the first time again after you've had a piece of cheese. Excellent. So I find it refreshing myself. Well, let's try this cheese together and then I'm going to see how it goes. Wow. I actually have a Pilsner with me. All right. And, uh, so what am I to expect in this cheese? I feel like well, it's going to be very spicy. Because of well, spicy. actually it's not. It's a mild medium cheddar. So the cheese is aged about six months. And what we do is we'll take horseradish and then we'll mix it in while it's still cold remix the cheese and then of course repack it so basically what you can expect as a taste is you're going to enjoy this wonderful creamy mild to medium cheddar flavor with a nice little horseradish kick at the end but it's not overbearing so it's not hot it's not over it doesn't overstimulate your taste buds and then you've got that look on your face that I normally do it's always great and of course, once you've washed it down with a, a glass of beer, the beer actually tastes refreshing because it's like a new taste to you. It's quite nice. It's a great combination. And actually, the you are saying that the beer tastes new every time because of the cheese. And actually, inversely, because the beer is carbonated, it lifts all the oils off the palate, and then the cheese should be new every time as well. So. You know the technical stuff. I just know what tastes great. It's a perfect combination. <laughs> Cheers. Well, thank you very much.